Richard, I, like many of us, have been obsessed with uh, the nature of reality since a very early age. And uh, uh, understanding space and time has been given dramatic new understanding, of course, by, by Einstein. And we're told that space and time are no longer separate things the way they seem, but are this radical concept called space-time. How can we begin to understand what seems to be so counterintuitive? Well, um, Einstein showed that the universe is really four-dimensional, that you can think of time as a fourth dimension. So we have three dimensions of space, uh, uh, length, breadth, height, and we have a dimension of time. So if I want to invite you to a party, I have to tell you the latitude and longitude on the earth, where to go, how high to go, if it's on the 55th floor, you know. And then I have to tell you what time to show up, otherwise you'll miss the party. So there are four <laughs> coordinates, and there are four dimensions. Um, mathematically, Einstein showed that um, there was a minus sign, mathematically, associated with the time dimension that made it different from the other mm. spatial dimensions. All this was in terms of every observer seeing the speed of light as a constant, part of his hypotheses of, of relativity. The motion was relative and the speed of light was a constant. So mathematically, that's the difference. Um, it's, a, it's one four-dimensional sculpture. So if you imagine the sun sitting at the center of the solar system and time is going this way, you think of the sun as just a rod that extends in time. It's not going anywhere in space. And the earth, its, it's path through space and time, it's like a helix that winds around the sun once a year. And it's just, it's just one helix. And nothing moves in the four-dimensional mm -hmm. sculpture. <laughs> it's one four-dimensional thing that doesn't change. Some people call this block time. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, and the interesting thing Einstein showed is that different observers traveling at different speeds through this loaf of bread, <laughs> this uh, time and space, um, they slice the space-time differently. Um, I, sitting on Earth, might slice it like American bread, like slices <laughs> like this. I say, this is one instant, this is the next instant. Two things happen simultaneously that are on the same slice. Mm. But an observer flying through this space-time at a different speed would see the same loaf, but he would want to slice it like French bread on a, on a, on a, on a slant. So he would say, uh, differ with me about which events were simultaneous. He'd say, these two events are simultaneous. I'd say, no, this event happens first and this yeah. event happens later. So um, we're used to thinking in the Newtonian world of events either being simultaneous or not. But Einstein showed that observers can differ on which event occurred before which other event. Mm -hmm. It's all how this loaf is sliced. Yeah. Um, and but there's one fundamental space-time that everyone can agree on. The loaf, everyone can agree on. So we really live in a four-dimensional universe. And this is not just some mathematical model. This is the sense of reality, which, the, which has been demonstrated because Einstein's uh, 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 special and general relativity, but here special relativity, has been shown to be correct. Yes, he, he started with these two hypotheses. Motion is relative, the speed of light is a constant, and then he proved theorems from those. If those were true, then you can't build a rocket ship that goes faster mm -hmm. than the speed of light. E equals mc squared. This is one of the other theorems that mm -hmm. he proved from this. And of course, uh, that's uh, demonstrated in the atomic bomb. So uh, we've tested the things that he predicted and they've turned out to be true. Now in this loaf of bread, this uh, four-dimensional block, that the, the different observers, one slicing the bread horizontally, another like the French bread, have different sense of simultaneity because they're traveling at relatively different speeds. Different speeds, that's and right. And that difference is what causes them to have a different orientation through this space-time uh, block. That's right. So if, if you're moving in this direction and you want to see light going out from you at one light year per year, 
then your space axis has to shift as well mm -hmm. so that that's produced. So, so a moving observer will, will slice different instances on a slant like, Swiss, uh, like uh, French bread. Now, accepting this, what then can we uh, infer? What, what more can we learn about the structure of reality in the universe with this, given this assumption? Well, it, it produces all sorts of predictions. Uh, Einstein predicted that moving clocks tick slowly. Mm -hmm. We've measured this by putting clocks on planes, flying them east around the world. Mm -hmm. So the velocity of the plane added the velocity of the Earth. Indeed, <laughs> they come back slow. Uh, so um, it's, it's, a, it's a strange universe that we live in, but it seems to be that Einstein's hypotheses have held up because all the checks that have been done on them work. So we seem to live in this uh, four-dimensional loaf universe, <laughs> and um, uh, that's uh, 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 you know, one thing that doesn't change. I, uh, uh, every time I... I, I, I... I, I wrestle with these extraordinary complexities. I think of what Einstein said, something like, you know, make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. That's uh, true. Whatever is reality, we have to express it in simple ways, but not simpler. That's and true. And if this is reality, we have to deal with it. And we still don't know why the universe looks to us like a movie, you know? I mean, the psychological perception of it. Um, but um, it's, it's just a minus sign in front of the time direction that makes it different from the other dimensions. It's interesting to know that, but it's, again, hard to get your head around uh, why that makes uh, time seem so different to us than the other dimensions. And as a physicist who has been working on this for your entire career, uh, what, what emotion do you have when you, when you step back from your equations and you look at the reality of what this space-time is all about? Well, I think the universe as a whole is rather awesome. <laughs> uh, it's, it's fascinating that thinking about an extra dimension, a dimension of time, can explain all these things about, about the universe. And it's such a radically different perception than, than Newton had. And it's a very geometrical uh, perception. And also general relativity tells us that geometry seems to be very important. Mm. It's the curvature of space-time that produces gravity in that theory. And this is leading us toward uh, you know, super string theories where we talk about extra dimensions of, of, of extra dimensions of space. Uh, and uh, again, this is a geometrical uh, view that I think Einstein would have greatly appreciated and been very enthusiastic about.